Hi friends, welcome to the first ever season of Anytime, Anywhere Sunday School. My name is Pastor Abby Eccles and I'm so glad that you're here with us today. If you have your activity sheets or even a journal that you can sketch or draw or write in, uh, now would be a time to gather those items. And if you don't have them or if we don't have time for that today, that's all right. Hang back and enjoy today's lesson. We'll see you in a bit. Hi, I'm Miss Ann, and I'm one of the Sunday School teachers at First Methodist Sherman, and I'm so excited to share anytime, anywhere Sunday School lessons with you. So we're going to go through stories all through the Bible, and our first story will be in the very first chapter, our very first book, and it's about creation. Now, every few weeks, we're going to learn a new verse, and we'll say it several weeks in a row so we can really remember it and put it in our heart. And so the very first one is... Genesis um, chapter 1 verse 30, 31 and it says God saw everything that he created and it was very good so let's do it in sign language so we can remember it easier so let's make a hook like a, a shepherd's hook God saw everything he created and it was very good let's do that one more time okay God saw everything he created and it was very good. Now, if you'd like to pause the video and work on our at-home activity sheets, you can go ahead and do that right now, okay? Now, I think it's time to get, meet up with Janann and learn the song of the day. Hi kids, I'm Miss Powers, and if you know me, you know what time it is. So stand on up, make sure you have plenty of room to praise and wiggle without bumping into your neighbor. And let's learn our theme song. It's called, This is the Place. Here we go. This is the place to be together. This is the place to learn and have some fun. This is the place for friends and family. just awesome fun. I hope you enjoyed that as well. We'll see you next week. Back to you, Anne. Thank you, Janan. That was a great song. Now, hmm, have you ever wondered what it would be like to create something out of nothing? Have you ever made anything out of nothing? Hmm. I wonder what it was like to be the first and only creator to make everything. Have you ever made anything using different things? Well, you know what? If you'd like to take some time and pause the video and think about those questions or even write them in your thought journal, you can do that right now. Okay, it's time now to learn about our Bible story. And we're gonna turn that we're gonna have Gil and Francis tell us the, the story about creation. Hello boys and girls, welcome to Storytime. I'm your storyteller, Miss Francis. And today we're going to talk about the very beginning of everything. 
the beginning of the world, the beginning of all that's in it. And this is called creation. <coughs> oh, oh. <coughs> Oh, that is heavy. Yes, it is. Hi, Ronnie. Hi, hi Miss Francis. Uh, I, I've been reading that book that you gave me. Right? The Bible. The, the Bible, and uh, very interesting. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I and, and about the creation. Mm -hmm. and, and quite frankly, I have a few questions. Well, I may be able to help you with that, Ronnie. Oh, okay. could you enlighten well, me? Well, one thing you remember is when God speaks, things happen. Oh. And God spoke creation into being. Oh, you mean He just spoke and it happened? Yes. You mean like uh, when you say, uh, Alexa, make the world? Well, kind of. You uh, listen and I'll tell you. Uh, okay, I'm, I'm listening. Please listen. Like okay, me. well, in the beginning there was no earth, sky, or sea, oh, or okay. animals. Ooh. And then God spoke in the darkness, let there be light. Oh. And right away there was light, oh. scattering the darkness and showing the infinite space, which wow. means never ending. That's good, said God, and from now on, when it's dark, it will be night, and when it's light, it will be day. Wow. Now the evening came, and the night passed, and the light returned, and that was the first day. Wow. What happened on the second day? Okay, Francis? on the second day, God made the earth, and over it he hung a vast blue sky. Oh. And he stood back and admired his creation and said, that's good. And that was the second day. What, 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 what happened on the third day? The next day, in the morning, God looked around and thought, the earth needs it to be a bit more organized. Mm -hmm. So he put all the water in one place and all the dry land in another. And when he had finished, God made plants to cover the land. Like, like flowers and roses? Mm -hmm. And he Ooh. says, it's looking great, said God. And that was the end of the third day. Oh, well, what about the fourth day? Well, on the fourth day, God looked around and thought, the daylight st still seems to be a bit uh, more bright, and the night yeah. is just too dark. Uh. So he made the sun to light the sky during yeah. the day, and the moon and the stars to add a bit of sparkle to the night. Well, how pretty. He hung them in the sky. And this is coming along very well, yeah. said God. Next day, God turned his attention to the water he had collected in the oceans. Oh, yeah. I want these waters teeming with life. And in no time, there were millions of small fish Ooh. and big fish swimming in the ocean. And then God made birds, too. He wow. sent them soaring through the air. Ah, this is good, said God. And that was the end of the fifth day. Well, what happened on day six? Okay, on the sixth day, God made creatures. He added them to the land. He made lions and tigers and bears and all sorts. Oh my. Everything, but he still felt something was missing. Oh. So God made people. People! To enjoy and take care of all that he had created. Yay! And God was happy. <laughs> so, after six days, I'm tired. Yeah, well, the whole <laughs> universe was completed. And on the seventh day, God took a nap. That reminds me. What? Uh, I'm going to go take a nap. Okay. <laughs> Mwah. Mwah. Bye, Ronnie. Bye-bye. When you love someone, should you take care of them? Would you do things to try to make them happy? Would you try to make them keep safe, keep them safe? What's the difference between creating something and making something? And what does it mean to be made in God's image? Now, let's go visit the Roby family and see how they took what they learned from the Bible story and use it to live it out. Hi, I'm Megan Roby. This is my husband, Alex. And these are our children, William and Eleanor. Hi. Today we learned that God made all of creation and that includes us. God hopes that we take care of God's creation. It's special to God, so it's special to us too. Here are some ways you can take care of God's creation right where you are.
can you care for God's creation? You could do something we did or something totally different, but be sure to ask a parent for help. Oh, and be sure to post pictures of how you care for God's creation. Have your parents post them to Facebook with hashtag First Methodist Sherman so your pictures can be featured in the weekly uh, publications. Thanks for joining us. See you next time. Bye, guys. How cool is that, Roby family? Thank you so much. Now, as our time kind of closes in, it's um, would you pray with me? Okay, here we go. Dear God, thank you for creation. Thank you for the world that you made and all the things that are in it. Help us to learn to take care of your wonderful creation. Amen. All right. Awesome. Thanks so much for joining us for today's episode of Anytime, Anywhere, Sunday School. Now, as we end our time together today, we always end with blessings. So if you would lean close to your screen or you can sit right where you are and we'll give you blessings. Are you ready? Here we go. You are a blessing and God loves you so incredibly much. Thanks everyone. And we can't wait to see you again next week for another episode of Anytime, Anywhere, Sunday School. Bye friends. for friends and family.